Hey guys, Greg Benz here with a quick overview of the new sharpening capabilities in Lumenzio version 8. When you sharpen an image, you often run into unwanted problems such as noise in the sky, halos along the edge of a building, or highlight colors that start to clip towards white. All of these are areas where you're sharpening but really shouldn't, and that's what the new options in Lumenzio are designed to do. Now before we click on the sharpen button, we first want to create a selection though, because when we have a selection active, Lumenzia can use it to help define the edges of a building that should not get sharpened so we avoid halos. So I'm going to hit W to create a quick select, click and drag for the sky, and then because it's not a perfect selection, we'll hold down the Alt key to help remove a few areas that shouldn't have been selected here. So quick select is a great tool, but you often need to use the Shift or the Alt or Option buttons in order to go and quickly refine things and get a better looking selection. So now with this selection, Lemons is going to trace a black mask along this edge and prevent any sharpening there, so that will knock out halo sharpening. We'll see that in just a second. We'll go click on Sharp, and here you can see the new options. We're going to stick with a new layer. Under Blend If, the midtones have been revised to help avoid noise and clipping. We'll see what that looks like in a minute. We have a new option to add an edge and lights mask. And what this does is limit the sharpening just to the areas in the image that should be sharpened, so edge detail and overall brighter pixels, but not in the shadows. Now, something like this halo edge is an edge we don't want to sharpen, but for the most part, the other minor edges in the image we do want to sharpen. So this is going to help us pick them out. And then this next option is what will turn this selection we have here, this active selection, and turn it into a protection mask, which we'll see that in a moment as well. We just then need to choose the form of sharpening. And I'm going to go with high pass. I'm not going to use this new option, but if you check the minimize color fringe, it will avoid unwanted color shifts by essentially applying the sharpening just to the luminosity of the image. And this visualizing gray helps better select the radius, which we'll see when we click High Pass. So clicking on this, we'll see the option to choose our radius with a grayscale overlay, and we can move to different values and very clearly see what areas will be affected, as opposed to not using this visualization where you just see the sharpening, and it can be a little hard to evaluate. I'm going to hold down the Alter Option key to reset, I think the default option of 2.9 pixels is great. Go ahead and click OK. This next pop-up is asking how we want that selection we created at the edges to be converted into protection for the image. By choosing a radius of 3, I get a 3 pixel width along that edge to help protect things. By using a negative 3 here, I'm going to pull back from the edge into the sky because the interior is going to be towards the sky and that's where the bright halo problem will be. So I'm just going to go back a few pixels and expand by a few pixels and protect those areas from being sharpened. I can then choose whether I want a selection or a mask. If I choose selection, I can manually paint on my mask and just protect the edges that I want to. If I click mask, it'll just automatically apply the whole thing. And you can see here, it's gonna do a great job. So I think it works very well. With this Gaussian blur option, where you can choose to soften the edges of this protection if you want to, but the default is usually gonna work great. Click OK. And we're done. We have the sharpening output over here. Let's take a look at how it's done. If we zoom into the details of the image here, we can see from before and after, there's a nice amount of additional detail being applied to this image. Looks really good and sharp in various different areas. If we go and look at areas such as the sky here, let's zoom in and look with and without sharpening and notice that there's no grain. The, the underlying noise in the image is not being sharpened. If we turn off this edge and lights mask that was added by shift clicking it, you can see this increase in the noise here. Let's zoom in a little bit and just kind of toggle this mask off and on. And you can see if we didn't have this mask, we'd have this additional noise in the sky. So that's the extra protection of that option. If we go look over at the edges of the building here, notice there isn't really any sort of visible halo. Let's go ahead and enable our edge here. And if we disable, this is our surface mask or edge protection mask. If I alt click it, you can see it was the one that was created from our selection. And by shift clicking, you can see the halo that we would have had. And by re-enabling, you see how it's nicely removed that halo. Lastly, if we zoom back out and let's take a look at an area of bright color. Coming down over here, notice that this highlight in the train's light streaking by is still a nice yellow color. What's helping us there is this blend if mask that limited clipping. If we disable it by shift clicking on X in the panel, you'll see how it goes a little bit white. I can toggle from before and after, and you can see how having that blend if 
is going to help protect these bright colors from getting washed towards white. So multiple different layers of protection. We have that selection we turned into an edge protection or surface mask here. We chose the option to automatically select edges and lighter values and only sharpen them to avoid noise in unwanted areas like the open sky or in the shadows. And then lastly, that blend if to help protect against some color shifts in the highlights. And those are just a few of the hundreds of new updates in Lamentio version 8, so be sure to head to gregbensphotography.com slash to learn more.